What is going on guys? How is it going now? The Amazing Spider-Man issue 14, the final part to the Spider-Verse is finally here. Of course, The Amazing Spider-Man issue 15 is the epilogue to the major event, but this is the official final issue of this Spider-Verse event thing. And yeah, a few things that I actually want to point out to you guys that you may not know since we're at the beginning of the video, most likely most of you will actually be listening. Uh, I just want to say that it has been confirmed that Spider-Man 2099 is in fact the future of 616 universe. Now, of course, I obviously know that the Spider-Man 2099 universe is an alternate reality. It's not the future of 616, but they actually did confirm it in the back of one of the comic books that they made a mistake along the way and now Spider-Man 2099 is actually the future version of 616 universe. So, yeah, just to clear that up. And also, another thing, the reason why Ultimate Spider-Man Peter Parker wasn't involved in the Spider-Verse was simply because there was already too many Spider-Men. That is literally what the writers said about it. That's literally what they said, that there's just too many Spider-Men, so they decided to leave him out. So yeah. And guys, before you leave a comment in the comment section below saying no, Spider-Man 2099 isn't the same universe as 616, I know that, I know that Spider-Man 2099 isn't the same universe as the 616, but apparently it is now, apparently they changed it, apparently they made a change somewhere in the timeline, and now the 616 universe future is Spider-Man 2099. So yeah. Also guys, sorry if my mic's a little bit quieter than usual, it's just that I've got a bit of a cold, like I'm a bit ill kind of, so I can't raise my voice as much, but yeah, so... I think the best thing to do is probably announce the winner of the giveaway for the previous issue and it is Brad Hardman so congratulations to you, you have won the giveaway for the Amazing Spider-Man issue 13 and I will send you your digital code in a YouTube private message so keep an eye out for that and that will be within 24 hours and I actually really liked your comment, it was really interesting, it is actually possible for that to happen and I think it will be interesting to see Uncle Ben actually sacrifice himself to save 616 Peter Parker. I think it would probably fulfill a void in Peter's, like, soul, I suppose, or something. But, yeah, so, especially since Uncle Ben hasn't really been that heroic in the recent issues, I don't know, but yeah. So, thank you very much for your comment, well done for winning, and I will get your code to you within 24 hours, like I've already said, and yeah. Also, just like usual guys, I always do a giveaway for the comic that I'm reviewing and it is no different today. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for the digital copy of this issue. And in order to enter the giveaway, all I pretty much want to know from you guys is what did you think of the entire Spider-Verse as a whole? What did you think of the entire event? Now that it's coming to an end, what are your overall thoughts? Did you like it? Would you like to see a Spider-Verse 2? Or a Spider-Man 2 or something like that? Because I do know that they were supposed to be bringing out a Spider-Man 2. I don't know, but yeah, so in the comments below, let me know what you thought about the overall event of Spider-Verse, and I will choose a winner in my review for The Amazing Spider-Man issue 15. But anyway, guys, I think that's everything. I think we've got everything out of the way. I know I haven't made a video in like two weeks, which is absolutely ridiculous, but there is going to be a ton of videos in the future, which you will hear at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around for the end of this video, because I'm going to be going through what I plan to do with my channel in the next coming months up to Secret Wars. It's just like a quick thing. I'll go into a video about it maybe another time. But yeah, you guys have been waiting long enough. Let's get into the issue right now. If you remember the end of the previous issue, The Amazing Spider-Man issue 13, it ended with 616 Spider-Man, Superior Spider-Man and Punk Spider-Man and the rest of them all heading out to Loom World to go and save Silk and Spider-Woman and of course Baby Benjamin and maybe Kane if he's still alive. So they headed out to go and save all of them and we are actually greeted with Spider-Woman and Spider-Gwen going head to head against Werner and as they are about to get in trouble, the rest of them all come out of the portal from the Earth 3145 if I remember correctly. I might be wrong on that but I know it's those numbers. Uh, so 616 Spider-Man and the rest of them have all come through the portal to help Spider-Woman and Spider-Gwen and I absolutely love this part right at the beginning of the issue as well where Spider-Gwen actually says no, I want to take care of myself on this one and 616 Peter Parker trusts her and allows her to do that. Now of course we go back to the inheritors and I didn't even actually think that they were going to do this, but Morlin actually manages to kill Kane. So I think that basically confirms that Kane is officially dead now. He just got stabbed in the head. And in case you guys didn't know, they actually are performing this ritual to 
get rid of every single Spider-Man across all universes. So if he, if Marlin kills Spider-Bride, Sion, and the other, so basically Silk, Kane, and Baby Benjamin, then it sends something throughout the web of life that stops any other man from becoming Spider-Man. So if a man gets bit by a spider, then he has pretty much just been like bit by a spider. He hasn't got any powers. So that's what that's going to do. And it's, it's actually really crazy if you think about it. There's not ever going to be another Spider-Man if Marlon manages to complete this ritual. And that's a scary thing to see. Like when you think about how many there is in the universes. And as you can see on screen, the inheritors are sprinting towards the rest of the group. And Miles Morales and Disney XD's Ultimate Spider-Man comes through the portal and... We actually haven't seen Disney XD's Ultimate Spider-Man for quite a while, so it's really interesting to see that. Spider-Woman of the Ultimate Universe, she's actually called Black Widow now. She actually finds Kane's ripped up Spider-Man costume, and of course, that's when they discover and realise that Kane has actually been killed. Also on the screen there, you can see the Spider-God narrating over what's happening every single time Morlin kills one of the, like, ritual pieces, so the Bride and the Scion and all that, and... Kane, but one thing is that when he actually stabs Silk, he only slices her hand or her wrist or something like that, he doesn't actually kill her, so I'm kind of wondering why, because he actually stabbed Kane in the head, and then he just kind of cut Silk a little bit, I don't know why, but moving on, so as you could see there, Marlon was about to stab Baby Benjamin, the Scion, to complete the ritual, and just before he did it, Superior Spider-Man and 616 Spider-Man managed to web the dagger out of Marlon's hands, and 616 Spider-Man actually confronts Marlon about how Marlon has been avoiding him because he knows that 616 Peter Parker has killed him twice and he knows that he can do it again. And that is just so awesome that Peter Parker realises that. But as you could see there on the screen really quick, Uncle Ben Spider-Man actually left Loom World, just left everyone behind to fight for themselves and it was just like, what the flip? Like, what the hell is he doing? He's just leaving everyone. Now, moving on to the best parts of the comic in my opinion, Khan actually comes home, he's not been to his home universe in centuries, absolute centuries, for maybe over a thousand years, and he actually returns home, and Bricks and Bora actually think that he's returned to fight with them, and he just stands there and says, hell no, I am on the Spider-Man side, let's go, and the rest of the Spider-Man come through the portal behind him, and they all start causing havoc, and fighting everyone, and it is awesome. Now, another thing that makes this comic awesome is the fact that we have a naked Spider-Ham. Now, of course, remember when Uncle Ben Spider-Man actually left the Loom World and just left everyone to fight? He actually took Baby Benjamin with him and took him to safety. And I know what you guys were thinking, that wasn't Uncle Ben, that was Superior Spider-Man, because I know that their costumes do look extremely similar, but no, it wasn't Superior Spider-Man, it was actually Uncle Ben Spider-Man. So, yeah. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I... I'm absolutely blown away with how badass 616 Spider-Man is in this comic. I mean, he's got a bunch of one-liners. He's got, like, the most badass moments in the Spider-Verse so far. I mean, especially in the Amazing Spider-Man issue 11 when Superior Spider-Man and 616 Spider-Man fought each other. And, of course, as you can see on screen, Superior Spider-Man has gone absolutely crazy and he has killed the Spider-God. Superior Spider-Man murdered the Spider-God and every single person in the room was just absolutely blown away with what just happened. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether it works like this, but I kind of feel like Superior Spider-Man is going to become the new Spider-God because a bit like whoever kills the Spider-God becomes the Spider-God, if you know what I mean. But anyway, 616 Spider-Man starts getting his energy absorbed by Marlon and he tells Spider-Ham and Spider-Gwen to actually hold back. And of course, 616 Spider-Man, as I've already said, has a bunch of badass moments in this comic and he always has a few tricks up his sleeve and he actually teleports them both to Earth 3145 which is the radiation world and it is just so epic and awesome and badass. I don't, I honestly, my vocabulary just consists of the word awesome when I read these comics. I literally don't know any other word as you can probably tell and Carney's still on the Spider-Man side. He's even chucking his own brothers and sisters into the radiation world and of course as you can see there spider girl or is it spider girl yes it is spider girl actually just lets deimos live she, she isn't filled with that hateful revenge or anything like that which is awesome see i said awesome again what is happening right i think it's time to like say my final words and everything like that so my final thoughts uh superior spider-man killing the spider god uh i actually feel like 
because he's killed the spider god that maybe he will become the spider god maybe or something like that i mean i don't know i just didn't really expect it i know a few of you guys have actually said that he will become the spider god maybe because it just wouldn't make sense to get rid of superior spider-man completely i don't know but i did remember reading that one of the writers did say that maybe we will see superior spider-man again in the future of the comics and all that so of course he might not even be gone forever i don't know but i didn't like how the comic just kind of ended with silk and spider-man in each other's arms i mean it kind of ended in the middle of the fight if you know what i mean like they only just finished the fight so i don't know what's happened there we didn't actually see like the reaction properly to the 616 spider-man and the spider god and all that i mean like what's going to happen with the spider god but surely the spider god must have known that superior spider-man was going to kill him because he can see all of reality, he can see what is, what is going to be, and what was. I mean, he can see everything, so he must have known that he was going to die by the hands of Superior Spider-Man. And maybe it was Superior Spider-Man that was meant to kill him. Maybe he was destined to become the Spider-God or something like that, I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself, but also with Silk and the Scion and Uncle Ben and all that, they were awesome. All of the characters were absolutely phenomenal. The Spider-Verse has been awesome. By the way guys, make sure you hit the like button because this is pretty much the final part of the Spider-Verse until the epilogue, which is next issue, which releases 25th of February, as you can see on the screen there. And yeah, I honestly can't believe that the Spider-Verse is over. It's been months and months and months of covering the Spider-Verse with Edge of Spider-Verse and all the Spider-Verse team-ups. I also need to review my Spider-Woman issue 4 review, which should be up after this video, maybe tomorrow or something like that. But... Yeah, so it's been basically my entire life for the past few months has just been revolving around the Spider-Verse. And now it's coming to an end. I mean, we've got that epilogue in the Amazing Spider-Man issue 15. And that's going to be interesting. We still need to see what Superior Spider-Man has up his sleeve. I mean, the synopsis for one of the issues actually said that he had a trick up his sleeve. So I'm still waiting to see what that's all about. But anyway, moving on to what my channel is going to consist of in the future, I'm actually going to start reviewing every single Ultimate Spider-Man comic, starting from issue 1 all the way up to issue 133 and beyond. So basically, I'm going to be reviewing every single Ultimate Spider-Man issue. And yeah, so of course, in the future, we've got Silk, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man and the X-Men. We've got the up-and-coming Secret Wars Battle World. We've got Renew Your Vows with the Amazing Spider-Man. So it's going to be a pretty hectic future, and I'm going to be reviewing everything. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit the like button on this video since it is the final part of the Spider-Verse, guys. But mainly hit the subscribe button and go to my Facebook page and the link in the description. But yeah, so guys, what did you think of this issue? I've probably missed a few things out, that, so if I've missed anything out or... If you want me to answer any questions or something like that, then just put them in the comments below because I'll most likely answer them if they're a question. And yeah, so make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I also previewed this issue on my Facebook page months ago. So make sure you go to the link in the description to my Facebook page. I'm actually going to be previewing Spider-Gwen issue 1, which I actually already have done. And yeah, so let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget about the giveaway. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video.